Good morning, welcome to Turk Blanche. Today I'm going to show you a great, quick, easy way to use a Pagor pressure cooker to make mashed potatoes. So in here I have my favorite blend of Yukon Golds and Russets, and you get nice texture and flavor from the Yukon Golds and that nice starchiness from the Russets. All you need to do is pour about an inch of water in the pan, so you don't really even have to fill it or cover the potatoes. So you could even stack the potatoes up to a third from the top. And then we're gonna lock the lid on. Set it to pressure and then get the power going on the stove, turn it to high. And then when this pops up to two lines, we'll turn it down and then we'll time six minutes from there. And then we'll release the pressure. We'll come back and show you what that looks like. See you soon. All right, so our timer's gone off. It's been six minutes since it came up to pressure. Now I'm just gonna release the pressure. It's gonna come up right through here. Not a whole lot left because I had turned it off a second ago. Once that's done, we're gonna be able to open this up and we'll see what the potatoes are gonna be like. You'll hear a little click. When you're opening up a pressure cooker, you actually want to always open it away from you so you don't get hit by the steam. So I'm going to set that over there. There we go. Then we have our nice fluffy potatoes. I'm going to strain them. Right there. I'm going to let those kind of steam up a little bit and get that excess moisture off. And then meanwhile, in here I have some warmed milk. I'm going to pour that in there. Turn the pot back onto a lower heat, get that heated up, add our butter. And then one thing that I love so much with the potatoes is rosemary, but this is rosemary salt. It's been infused with the flavor, that way you don't get that chewy rosemary texture in there. So I'm going to a little bit of that in there. We're going to stir that up. We'll just use our potato masher since it's right here. Get that warmed up. Get our potatoes. Put them right back in there. So most of the time I do it, I like to do it a little less refined. I leave the skin on. I like the texture. And then you just add that in. If you need to, you add more milk, more water, more salt. But just keep going around let that starch soak up all that liquid in there and like i said i like them a little more rustic so i'm going to leave them a little chunkier but you can keep going if you want you can take the skins off before you cook them i'm just going to taste for seasoning A little more salt. Potatoes definitely need a lot of salt, but and there you go. There you have mashed potatoes in about 20 minutes from scratch using the Fagor pressure cooker. Enjoy.